Quest, not Ian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you know what I would do? I'd monetize Tico. I'd, I'd be just like, he's not on a thousand yet, monetize him. <laughs> oh. Tico, go earn some YouTube money, mate. <laughs> in this picture is me with a load of cash in my hands. Thank you, Ian. Uh, all right there, folks, it's Sunday. You know what that means. We're back from our little break. Thank you all again for the birthday wishes. Uh, but it is time to chill on Sundays again with Sheldon. And uh, it is time to go to the trains for you all today. Well, when it gets on with it, thank you. And today, we're off to New York. It's the Harlem Line. And uh, we're going to do the top one right there. The train to the game. The game is almost started and the last few fans are trickling into the services at Yankees East 153rd Street. So grab your ticket game line. Sheldon will be here as well to have some fun with us. I feel like bursting out into a song right now. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the trains. Here comes Sheldon to go and mess it up. Exactly. Get this. Uh, get this one done. We'll be done by one. Hello. 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 We're in Grand Central. It's Game Three of the World Series, and the last few fans are making their way to the stadium. When they're ready, climb aboard to get started. Which fans? Well, see this how we're on the Harlem line. Yeah. Uh, we've got to go to, I presume, Yankee Stadium. So I presume it's New York. Run! Oh, don't, don't you run. Excuse me, it's the Yankees. <laughs> it's also a berth. It's also Sunday. You know what that means? Yes, you do. Uh, so run away from the Yankees. Run away from the Yankees. <laughs> you... Shut up. Shut up now. The Yankees are my boys. Give them my slipper. Thank you. Have they done anything recently? You're just throwing everything in there at the moment, aren't you? Yes. Yes, you are. No, they have not done anything recently because it seems to be all about uh, another team that isn't the boss, the New York Yankees. To be actually true for you, I don't know who um, who's doing well in the baseball because I've not been keeping up with the baseball. That's a curveball. That is a curveball. <laughs> Oh boy, yeah. So, oh, we got to call it Harlem 125th Street, a station we do want to come to we when we uh, when we come out of here. But first of all, we must cruise at 10 miles an hour through the tunnels of New York Grand Central. Is it Grand Central? Or? I think it's Grand Central. I think it's Penn. Grand. It's even well, it's one of the two, isn't it? What uh, M7 are we? Uh, yes. We're on the M7 first, uh, and we are going to be taking the fans to the Yankees game. Game three of the World Series. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the game. I don't know the rest of this goddamn song. All I know is Bob Uecker is cringing now. <laughs> Was it Bob Uecker? No idea. At uh, WrestleMania uh, 4, WrestleMania 5? I'm sure it's Bob Uecker. Could be. Uh, it, the name's, sounds right. Yeah, sounds right, doesn't it? Sounds right that uh, it was Bob Uecker. But yeah, we got uh, we got the M7. We're, we're going to go... Uh, I think we get to use both units, the M7 and the M3. Well, we have to come off one train back on another. Yeah. Which is... Uh, Oddly scenario. It is an odd scenario, is this one uh, for the Harlem line. But, what was that? That sounded like something being ripped. Or it could just be the strimmer. Somebody's got a strimmer out. Or Lola's sniff it, or. Or it's sneezing. Lola. Yeah, no, nah, it we know if it was Lola, because she'd she be. Tch, tch. Yeah. That wasn't a. Tch, tch. That was a. That sounded like someone was ripping something. What they were ripping, I haven't uh, got a clue, but uh, they were ripping something. Uh, oh, we got to stop a red light. But I do think we have a legit reason. If you look through the shadows... Uh... Oh, hello. That's too dark. That's too dark. <laughs> All you can see is three white lights there. <laughs> 
three white lights. That's there all is you can... something coming in. No, no. Uh, there was a train going uh, out. Oh, in front of us. In front of us. So uh, we got to wait for uh, for that to uh, disappear. Oh, I'll tell you uh, what I have seen recently. Speaking of uh, New York, because it's special on the subway. Yes. There's these like parodies of the Attitude Era. Oh yeah. So there's people dressed up as people from the Attitude Era, like Mankind, Kane, and they're just fighting on the subway. Yeah, I've seen that uh, recently as well. I don't know what what the fascination of it is. Just for S and giggles. Yeah, I, I, I imagine it is just for that and giggles, uh, exactly. Uh, have we got, oh, we're crossing over here, that's why. So it it was on this track and we got to cross over onto the, uh, the other track. You're there with your commute, and then next minute a fight breaks out. It's like, oh, it's just a typical New York Saturday night. Yeah, we, do we need to do that? That's that's a reason to go over to New York, isn't it? Just to see uh, a fight break out between the uh, '90s Attitude wrestlers. Although to be fair, that that was Lola that time. I heard that that time. That was Lola that time. Um, although. Uh, we just finished watching uh, Super Brawl 98 yesterday. The the debut of that Scott Steiner. Oh, yes. <laughs> he, he's just standing over his brother doing the trademark Steiner pro pose. They're doing, who, who, and the crowd there. And then they're in that uh, pose. And then Scott's there like, wink, and hit my brother in the back of the head while he doesn't see me. Yeah. <laughs> The debut of Big Popper Pump. Or as Buff Bagwell called him when they started their feud, Big Popper Dump. <laughs> Scott Steiner, I'd say that he had to be one of the best promo cutters in WCW. Yeah. He had to be. Because, do you know the thing about Scott Steiner compared to, say, the other guy? I mean, some of the best promo guys in WCW at that time, you're looking at uh, Dallas Page. Yeah. Hulk Hogan, Lex Luger, uh, Giant, I would say, is in there as well. When when we get to the sort of ni late 99, 2000 era, when Scott Steiner was the big popper pub that we knew. Yeah. He was believable. When, when he gave a promo, you actually believed him. You, you actually believed that he was who he said he was. And... Then none it, of that BS. None of that BS that uh, everyone else, yes, they were sort of believable with their promos, but not as believable, I would say, as Scott Steiner. But we, we all know what the best Scott Steiner promo of all time is. Steiner math. <laughs> Steiner math. <laughs> See, I'm going to take your 33%. I'm going to take my 33%, but I've got a 64, 67.3%. 6% chance of winning, so that makes 144% chance that you lose. <laughs> However that promo went. It's, trust me, if you haven't ever watched that Steiner Math promo, please go and check it out. First of all, just for the laughs. And Steck, 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 oh god. Oh, English is a secondly. Just, just to have a laugh. So you go for the laugh, and then you have the laugh. That's because that promo is comedy gold. Because there's even there's Petey Williams there. He's just doing yeah, yeah. working out. And Rocker Khan is <clears throat> in the background, just standing stoic. And there's Steiner giving off this fantastic math promo. And it was Mackenzie Mitchell the uh, the uh, person at the time, the the the, the uh, interviewer. Could be or Alicia Eightow. No, it wasn't Alicia Eightow. Right. Alicia Raytow wasn't in Impact. I don't think she had been in Impact as Alicia Raytow. Or two, I mean, Here we go, we're out of the subway. Headed up to uh, 125th Street in Harlem. Oh, look at that. That looks beautiful. Where am I? I'm having that. Should I have that as the, uh, the fun? Maybe not, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not, I'm not sure. We'll, uh, we'll have to find out. No, it wasn't uh, Mackenzie Mitchell, was it? It was someone else. It was uh, it was definitely someone else. But seriously, please go. 
It's from Sacrifice 2008. You want Scott Steiner Math Promo, Sacrifice 2008 actual footage. It's two minutes and seven seconds long. Please go and laugh at it. We may even put it in the top corner. Yeah, to, uh, so you can all go and uh, watch it after go, this video. Yeah, please go watch it after this video. Because you get us with your chillin' entertainment, and then you go for more entertainment afterwards. Because <laughs> uh, Steiner Map was brilliant. Anyway, coming up to 125th Street. Like I said, this is, well, if we ever do get over to America, this is one of the stations we want to do. Definitely, because I have a feeling this will be, oh, we're, we're speeding. Are we? Are we? Yeah, now we're speeding. I haven't a clue what that was. Now we are definitely uh, speeding. And we may not even be stopping. What's that next to us there? Is that another M7 or is that an M3? Looks like a 7. It looks like a 7, doesn't it? We'll never know because it's uh, disappearing at the same time we are. I think it is a 7. Yeah, it looks like uh, an M7. Question is though, where would you stand on this side? Oh, I would, I would be on uh, the bottom end. I, I would want to be at uh, the bottom end just for... Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, this end up here looks good. Yeah. But the bottom end has got to be the, the end with the, sky, with the New York skyline in the background. You've got to do it there for the New York skyline. Even if we just did this one... Because the idea when we go over to when... It's not if, it'll be yeah. when. Right? Because it will happen. I suggest before 2026, before our passports run out. Because <laughs> then, we, otherwise, after that, we've got no reason to use them. Um, I would say we need, we'll be doing some stations, we're definitely doing 125th Harlem, this station. I would say, definitely want to get some stations on the Northeast Corridor done. There's a couple of stations on the Long Island Railroad I'd love to do as well. And then there's a couple more stations after that, I'm not sure where, but what I would do I would take, even if I do it myself, or if I do it, um, you know, Yankees East 153rd Street, that's where we're going. The Yankee Stadium, in other words. Yeah. Uh, what you I would... see Yankee Stadium? I don't know. Because I honestly don't know how close Yankee Stadium is to to uh, Yankees East 153rd Street. I honestly don't know. But yeah, if, uh, if I did go over, I want to do some filming at JFK. I want to do some filming at LaGuardia. Newark Liberty, I've, I've come to the conclusion that plane spotted at Newark Liberty. There's the station, isn't it? There's the station, yeah. Oh no, it's, it's nowhere close. It, it's going well, closer to 161st Street. Which is a... Which, yeah, it looks like a metro uh, station. Yeah. yeah, it's a metro station, so we don't get to see Yankee Stadium, unfortunately. But the, uh, I've come to the um, harsh realisation and the karma with myself that filming at Newark Liberty is not going to be possible. Just because, A, there's no viable locations to film at. Yeah. And, B, the only location you can film at is at the dockyard. And there have been occasions where people have been chased off. By people from the dockyard. By people from the dockyard. It's not the case that they don't mind you being there for the odd shot. It's if you're there for a long period of time. That's when they mind. There, there is a car park down by uh, a convenience store. Is that why Jay had that police officer with him? Huh? Is it a police officer? Oh no, that was Boston. That no. wasn't. Um, that wasn't a police officer. That was someone who worked at Boston. Yeah, that was someone who worked at Boston. So they knew Jerry was there, and just in case any of the public say, you know, what, what's going on, they've got someone at the airport there set to say, look, he's with us. He's working with us. He's doing some filming of the planes. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. No problem. Because in that area, they're okay, they're cool with you, but you do get the odd person that. Uh, oh yeah. Wants to be a wants to be a twat. 
I would say. But, yeah, that, that would be uh, one thing. Oh, that's a point. Yeah, go on. that. Because um, I was speaking to somebody yesterday while I was at a Monterelli show. Yes. And uh, they were saying to me that sometimes they, he does get people asking what you do with filming wise. Yeah. But you know what he did? What? He's put a QR code on his phone case. Okay. So it's like, this is what I do. You scan the QR code, it takes it to the YouTube channel. I'm thinking, ah. Oh my. I was blown that, away because. That. Let me tell you something. Oh, hold on. No, let me do it properly. Let me talk to you. That's genius. Yeah. I mean, I use this phone all the time. Excuse me, what are you doing? I could just point to the QR code, they scan it. Oh! Yeah! That was just... A genius had my mind blown. That, that, that is... See, that... We are getting to an age where QR codes are... The norm now. And that's what they want to do with the railways, but... They don't want to let the past go. No. See, I... I don't mind... Hold on. High Bridge Yard isn't currently accepting any layovers at the moment, so change ends. We've got to go back to Grand Central. We've oh. got to take this unit back to Grand Central. Why can't we have it in the yard here? It looks empty. It looks absolutely empty. Bet we walk up to that yard, there'd be F all there. I bet if we did, there'd be F all there as well. But, uh, unfortunately, we can't walk up there. Actually, no, I tell a lie. There's probably 37 Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders there. Oh, here he goes. Here <laughs> we go. Ah. Oh. Yep, the yard is taken. Yep, the yard. Oh, the yard is now taken, is it? Yep. Yeah. Cast X for doubt on that <laughs> statement. What's it taken? Don't you dare answer that question. What's it taken by? We all know what it's taken by. It's taken by one Randy man and 37 Randy cheerleaders. Which, speaking of, one of them got married the other day and, uh, oops, yeah, excuse me. Do we go in there? Nope, there's more trains. It's serious though, I think half of them are probably married anyway. Yeah, but at their, at their wedding party, the cheerleaders all did the Thunderstruck dance in their wedding outfits. They do. It's ridiculous. I think mean, it's like a tradition. It, it probably is a tradition. You just went through that door. Yes, uh, I think we... I don't know what to have... Is this the, where we go? Yes, here we go, right. Right, in and thank you, right. So we've got to take this M7 all the way back. What was that? Give me a sec. Somebody out there is doing the lawn. Oh, who do you think? Oh, who do we think? Across the road. Yeah! Hopefully they can hear us. Right, apply some power to get moving. So we've got to go to Grand Central Track uh. 51. Great. Oh, look at that sun setting. That's beautiful. So you're just shuttling between Grand Central and the place for game. The Yankee Stadium. I would, I would assume so, yes. Why is this scenario 59 minutes long then? Uh, that is an excellent question. Maybe it takes that long to get into Grand Central Track 51. Unless you did another trip or just take it somewhere else to be... Well, just remember, the scenario did say that we get to use the M7A and the M3A. So maybe, now that we've done the route with the M7A, now we do it with the M3A after that. That would make sense, would it not? Yeah. It, it would make uh, perfect sense. Are we speeding or are we not speeding? See, I, you can never tell with these American uh, it looks like you're speeding. ATC systems, can you? Because you've got the blue and the red dot there, which is the actual right dot. Although it would say we were driving under the speed limit, so that's 30 uh, action points. Mm. So maybe we were under the speed limit. Maybe the red dot was the speed limit. And maybe we just said we got to get down to the blue dot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because you find that on the uh, on the LGV, it counts you down into uh, the station. Said right, you're at 320 now. Now you've got to get down to 270. Now you've got to get down to 230. Now you've got to get down to 200. Now to 160 and 130. And now yeah. you cruise at 130 kilometres an hour into the station. And you can break at your break point. 
maybe that is uh speaking of i think i've unlocked the um i have unlocked quite a few more uh mastery, mastery, mastery level uh things so when we uh, i've just got to unlock the canadian flags i think for the oakville subdivision so we can send them off in the right way the oh, canada no 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 because um the next by route around we're going to be saying goodbye to uh, LGB Mediterranean, we're going to be saying goodbye to the Oakville subdivision. Uh, there's another route we're going to be saying goodbye to, I think, as well. Let me just. I joke with the board I don't know what that was that uh, tipped down. Let me have a look uh, here. Uh, Oh, Clinchfield Railroad, we're saying goodbye to the Clinchfield Railroad. Um, to be fair, I think I need to rewrite all of that, don't I? If I can get them on, on two sides. Yeah, make it bigger. Make it bigger. How many, how many routes have we got at the moment? Besides, make it bigger because you've got a half a screen there. Do F all. Oh, I mean, yeah, I know, but uh, over here, is that just for random stuff? Over here, though. I mean, I could do it while I'm uh, doing this. Yeah, good night. So, I mean, uh, just wipe everything out. I'll just wipe everything out. Yeah. It has got a bit dark, hasn't it? Is, it? is it me or has it got a bit dark? It has got a bit dark. Yeah. Um, let me have a look here. So, how many routes have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, it's got over the last. 15, 16, 17. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 30, 31, 30, 33, 34, 35, 36 routes uh, we'll have when we get to New York Trenton, which go down to 33. So I need 18 on each side, don't I? Yes. Right, okay, so we just got to remember those ones there as the last ones. So that's uh, fine. Let's uh, scribble that out. Although maybe we should put the 18 last on this side first and then the 18 on this side afterwards. Yeah. So, so that was three. So where's, uh, uh, I don't know, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. It's the right Oh, um, when we do it, because we did uh, the West Cornwall last week. Uh, that's the last one on the next rotation round as well. Yes. So West Cornwall will be disappeared right then. For now. For now. Yeah. We don't. Unless uh, we get the steam logo. Unless we get the steam logo, is absolutely. How are we going to do this? <laughs> um, right. I'll, I'll just put it like this. Yeah. So while I'm uh, while we're running this video, it's going to be updated. The um, thank you. I'm going to be updating our whiteboard. So. Um, Right, let's uh, do it here then. So we want a uh, hot strecker rhyme. That's good. It has a bit too. Or you just uh, leave the top half. You are sorry. You just leave that half. Yeah, I'll probably put it in uh, half. So we want uh, what's next? Hamburg Lubeck. Hamburg Lubeck. Uh, pretty sure the next calf cart circle might be the last one as well. I think it may be. It like may we be. said, they should have put scenarios with the three eight fives in it. They should have done extra. That uh, London commuter. I think it's Ludlaska London commuter as well. We could. Uh, tr I can. Uh, I don't put Nafarka, Farka, 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 Dresden. I put uh, just put N Dresden because I can't spell Nafarka further. Uh, well, not Dresden. Barker, 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 Barker. <laughs> I know what Barker means. Uh, Boston Sprinter. Which, uh, when we do the next Boston Sprinter, we will be uh, doing the Nacellia. Uh, Cane Creek is in there. How did the Nacellia uh, route go? The Northeast Corridor or New York to Trenton? Um, so, New York, Trenton, the problem is not so much the scenery uh, it's the timetable they're all um, having a bitch 
and uh, complain that the timetable is uh, not right. And they were wanting... Um, is that for the American side? You are sorry? Is that for the American side or is that for the British side? Uh, that is uh, just in general. Oh, right. So they were like... Um, let me just put that West Cornwall. They um, were going through the cracks of New York. Yes, the cracks of uh, New York. The Harlem tunnels. Line. The tunnels. The good old tunnels, the central spice. Central Schweiss. I don't know how you spell Schweiss. Horseshoe Curve. Oh, there's another Grand Central station just recently opened. Is there? I can't remember what it's called. Grand Central. Spirit. No, Job oh. Simpson went to it. Steam. Oh, I can't remember now. He can't remember it. I think it begins with. Cross City. Bremen. No, is it Grand Central Addison? Could be. I don't know. Bremen Oldenburg. What's it? Scottish Express. Oh no, it's Grand Central Madison. And then, uh, and then I want North East Corridor. Yeah, because they opened a new station called Grand Central Madison. New York. Which Trenton? Ah, you got something coming up here. Uh, what do you mean? Right, can you put the top back that, on that? That uh, purple. Oh yeah, because um, because it takes ten minutes to um to get around here. I thought let's just speed it up a little bit. Yeah, it literally takes forever to go around. So what we're actually doing is we're not actually going into Grand Central itself. We're going around the back of Grand Central. Yes, Simon just found out there was a back of Grand Central. Oh, so we're not going into Grand Central, we're going into the back. We're going into the back of Grand Central, yes. There you go. I think that uh, cleans it up a little bit. Cleans it up a little bit, don't you? Yeah. We can keep that like uh, that, and that looks all right. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. I will uh, double check. I'll put... Um, I'll put a star next to the routes that are finishing. Um, so next next pass round. So this scenario would have took uh, over an hour. This scenario, if uh, I'd kept the edits, it would have te took an, uh, about an hour and twenty minutes. So I've edited it down to less than an hour. There we go. Right, shut down the train and make your way to the awaiting M3A. Ah, so this is the M7A. This is the M7A. So we're now going to go to the M3A. Oh yeah, the M7's the um, Long Island Railroad. M M, the ones without A are the Long Island Railroad. Yeah, the one with the A is New York. But no, going back to um, to what I was um, what I was saying. If we did do this, I want to do a couple of Long Island ro Railroad stations. There's one station on there that would be a 30 minute sprinter. That that's a definite. And that will be that's Jamaica Station. Jamaica has to be a, a 30 minute stint. You get so much at Jamaica, it's ridiculous. And I think it doesn't help that they added the Grand Central Addison trades there as well now. Yeah, that uh, that doesn't help either. Just go through. Uh, Did I say Addison or can Madison? Can we uh, disappear out here? Yes, right. As you can see, it is pitch black in Grand Central. If only. What, what was, was that? that? What was that? There we go. Look at this. I want to get you a flashlight. No, if you pre if you flick um, right on the D-pad, it gives you a flashlight. Can That's we... what I said, it gives you a flashlight. Yes, it does. Right. Where do we uh, go here? The only problem is now we've got to cross the tracks to get to the awaiting M3. Uh, here we are going around here. And you can see where the M3 is. It's over there. So we can cross here. There's a wall in the way. Can we get around the wall? Uh, yes. yes, we can. And now there we go. There we go. So we've got to go down that end. No, there's a station over here. I think we can turn the light off now. There we go. Get up there. Can we go? Yeah, we're taking you the scenic route. <laughs> the scenic route to get to uh, 
So basically there's some stable exciting sides of Eve Grand Central. There's some stable inside in either side of Grand Central, yes. And that's where they... Because that's one of the mastery levels, which I've only got to do um, one more thing to get uh, next time. And that is uh, in the Grand Central sidings, there will be a presidential cabin car. Ah. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, good, uh, good me. Right, let's close that door. We're in the M3. Now you can see here, just from looking at it, the M3 is a lot different to the M7. The M3 is more, looks more old school, whereas the M3 looks more modern. Sorry, the M7 looks more modern. The M3 yeah. looks more... Uh, but they're both like standard, standard gauge subway cars kind of thing. They're both standard units that they use here in, uh, in New York. Certainly in uh, the New York Long Island area. Um, so yeah, we'll get um, a couple of Long Island Railroad stations done. We'll have a day on the Long Island Railroad. Or, or the um, whatever railroad. Yeah. There we go. We'll definitely do it 125th Harlem uh, as well. Uh, we'll get some Northeast Corridor ones done as well. Probably do uh, the station, a couple of stations either side of um, Penn Station. So that, that would be a, yeah. an idea. I know there's a station outside of Newark Liberty that uh, John wants to take us to. I forget what it's called now. Harris Harrisburg? I think it begins with a H. It's not Harrison, is it? It's, some, it's either Harrison or Harrisburg, I can't remember. But there's a uh, car multi-story car park and you can see the planes coming in at um, yeah. Newark Liberty. So... You must be able to get close to uh, Newark Liberty without actually filming Newark Liberty. My uh, my big zoom on my uh, lens would be perfect there. It it was perfect for um, uh, Bose Park, like I said, because you you yeah. saw all those photos. <clears throat> that was that was just ridiculous. If if anyone gets the chance to do uh, the Hartford Loop Diver, it's just so basically. basically your uh, camera went beyond the side, the turnback siding. No, my camera zoom basically took me up to the turnback siding. Basically. That's how uh, massive the zoom was. Yeah, we're still in uh, pitch black. But unlike with the M7, we can go straight out. Yeah. Straight out. No hassle, no fuss, no problem. Right, that's all them videos done. My phone will thank me. Never. Because <clears throat> this is the uh, this is the older one. Uh, Just the query. Yes. Because everything went on the half of half of loop line. The ones that go buy a new barnet or that. Which way were they taking, or will they still go to? Uh, what the uh, the Welling Garden City trains? Yeah. Uh, there was no uh, Welling Garden City trains. The only way you could get to Welling Garden City was to get to Stevenage, and then double back on yourself. That was the only way you could do it. because Although even then you couldn't do it because all the trains were going via um, thingy. But no... Um, was the, there some that started at the Alexander Palace? There was an Alexander Palace that went to Moorgate shuttle. Yeah, that's why I thought. <coughs> Would they run a shuttle? Yeah, there was an Alexander Palace to uh, Moorgate as a shuttle. Uh, and then they had the Moorgate Stevenage. Because when I saw the unit in the sidings at uh, Bowes Park, I thought to myself, hang on, they may be doing a um, a swap over here. The, you know, they may need to work here. The Alley Palace yeah. shuttles work, <clears> but they didn't know. The, uh, the Alley Palace shuttles worked their own uh, circuit and the Stevenage worked their own circuit. Which means I only... So road. the Alexander Palace services went up to Bose Park to turn back? Yes. They went up to Bose Park to turn back. Anything that came out of Bounds Green also came up to turn back as well. Yeah, because they did get a 91 set using that turn back side in one. Yeah, though, no, I got the Zuma in there. We answer the age old question can you fit the Zuma in the turn back side in the Bose Park? The answer to that question is yes, you can. You can fit a six car uh, 717. Speaking of, right, I've got, I've got to get this out. I've got to get this out, right? 717. Yep. 717s are basically a mini version of the 700. Yes. So why in God's name 
Okay. Now go, please go with me here. Don't interrupt me until I finish. Okay? Do you understand that? Okay. Right. Why in God's name to the 700s, which came out before the 717s, do not have any plug sockets in any part of the train. They also do not have any Wi-Fi either, but they've got toilets, yet the 717s don't have toilets, but have plug sockets and a Wi-Fi. Well, the 700s are more like the Express. Yes, but they have to have... But they, the 700s have now turned into the 350-2 of the railway community. The unit that nobody likes. But the 717s are just for metro services. But why do they have plug sockets and Wi-Fi and the 700s don't? That's my point. Please get on board with my point. Get on board with it. What are you... Point. Did you just point your finger at me? Yes. This ain't your vlog video where you get to do a thumbnail of you pointing at me. <laughs> this, isn't, this isn't that. My point stands. Surely the 700 should have plug sockets and Wi-Fi on their trains. Maybe when they get refurbished. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, but when <clears> will that be? Because by the time it's refurbed, how old are the 700s? They feel like they've been around for ages, don't they? Yeah. And then we're going to go find out they've only been out three years. What? Not three years. No, it's definitely not three years. It's got to be five years at least. This is going to surprise me here. I'm, I'm calling 2018 for a giggle. I, I, I'm going to call 2018. You watch this piece of like 2015, 2016 in that area. And then you all... You all sit there and you're like, wow. Those DeZero cities have been around forever. Go on. Constructed between 2014 to 2018. Good Lord. 2014. With the entered service in 2016. 2016. Jesus. That's seven years. Seven years. Seven years this year. That's... Well, if it's anything like the Pentolinos, because they've been around since 2002-2003, and 20 years later, they only just had a refurbishment interior. Yeah, but the the, the reason they're having the refurbishment is because they're, they're now of aunties, aren't they? Yeah. The old uh, seating style reminds you of, um, who'd you call them? I like cross country. Ugh. They just say, like, no, we can't be bothered spending any money. On yeah, we, we can't be bothered uh, doing their thing like that. Have the Virgin style. <laughs> have the Virgin style, why not? I don't even think. I, I imagine, though, if cross country did a, an interior re refurb, the turbos have the interior refurb, but uh, the, pen the, uh, the Voyagers uh, just don't. Uh, I imagine if they do, it'd look like somebody had just sat in a whole bag of you know what. <laughs> Because uh, that that would uh, that would just be it, right? Uh, coming up to Harlem 125th Street again, <clears throat> but as you can see, this time we're on the other side. Yeah. Whereas before, with the M7, we were on the track next door. On this one, we're on the track the other side. So that just shows you that all the tracks into Grand Central are bi-directional, which uh, we do appreciate. But obviously, when we go to, a, like I said, when we go to a Harlem 125th Street, it's um, it's going to be this southern end that we, uh, well, I think it's actually the northern end, but we, we call it the, the city end, basically. Yeah. That's that's the end that uh, we're going to do. If you are watching this and you are and you are local to um, New York, give us some. Um, I know John. Uh, from, <coughs> excuse me. I know John will probably uh, watch this. Although to be fair, I haven't heard from uh, John for ages. No, he's still around. I don't know. He's uh, I know he's still around. Um, but um, I know he's recently uploading videos from Germany. I think. Oh, is he doing? A, is that what I've not heard? Because he's in Germany. No, he's not in Germany. I think they're old videos. Oh, they're older videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I know he'd. Uh, 
he'd recommend this station definitely for uh, for Grand Central because I think Grand Central is a proper proper terminus unlike Penn isn't it yeah yeah I mean we'd just go to Grand Central just for the sake of going to Grand Central we, we wouldn't film there we'd just go there to take in the magnificence that is Grand Central Terminal because it is gorgeous all right, so we're stopped here at 125th Harlem. Now, if I'm right, there should be an M7 coming up. Uh... Oh, no, it is the northern end. Southern end, sorry. Yeah, there's the M7 coming up uh, behind us. That gives us an opportunity for the thumbnail. I will leave a few minutes, a few seconds late to get that thumbnail. Like the uh, drive at Bournemouth one time. What's that? He wanted to see the 37s arriving, but they were told, no, you got to get this train out. Uh, <laughs> see, I, I, I would have uh, I would have just told that start you. I'd go when I want. Because he, he would probably have had layover time at Southampton Central. Yeah. Or if not Southampton, well, Reading. It could have been a right and just parked it up outside Bournemouth, you know, park it up to the signal. Yeah. And then, oh, we just got to with the train for a second. I'll sort it out. <laughs> get out, snap. Take it with permission. Take it with Back permission, up. blah, blah, blah. He should, he should have actually just took the photo through the train window. Train window shots, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They can't uh, do anything uh, then. Here's the M7 uh, now. Pulling in. Pulling in. So as you can imagine, because we're using both units here uh, on this uh, scenario, it'd be only fitting to get the thumbnail for both of these units right there. Not right there, because, uh, you know, right there. Right, let's uh, disappear off then. Yeah. Yankees East 151st Street again. That's uh, always good. I wonder where he's going then. So yeah, if um, if you are watching this and you are local to New York or yeah, just the general uh, New York, you're a rail. See, they don't call train spots over there. Rail fans over there, aren't they? Yes, rail fans. If you're a rail fan over in uh, New York, what what stations would you recommend uh, for us? We like freight. Yes. And we like plenty of action. So, in other words, Harlem 125th Street would be perfect for us because we've got plenty of action coming in and out of Grand Central. How many minutes have passed the trains are at Harlem 125th Street? I would probably say every minute, if not every 90 seconds. So basically, you've not got time to do a piece of the camera. You, you'd probably do it at the start before you get started. Yeah. And then do it um, afterwards. Uh, Jamaica though is is the same because at Jamaica a, a train leaves every thirty seconds. So you got no chance. You got no chance. You'd have to do your vlog <clears> bit beforehand. <clears throat> or spend a bit of time after you film just to do the piece of camera. Yes, exactly. That's so what they even do it during the video. Even beforehand or afterwards. But definitely we we, we want to do um, some of the Long Island Railroad. So that that's Jamaica locked in there. We want to do some of this uh, Metro North Railroad. Uh, I would definitely want to do some North East Corridor as well. Because I, I think there are plenty of possibilities over in New Jersey to do plenty of... Because I think a lot of, a lot of them go to uh, Elizabeth, New Jersey to, um, to get some of the fast um, Amtrak stuff. Yeah. And, and we do mean fast over there because they get the Acelers, they get um, the ATS 64s as well. So it's uh, all uh, all gravy. That's that is something we would need to, um, you know, sit down and have a good old uh, think about. A good old plan out. A good old plan out. It may be something I do while um, I'm doing thumbnails, while I'm doing everything else over here just to have a sit down and say right these are the stations I want to look at what well, let's do some because if only we had been over here in the UK if only we had some way of knowing what a station would look like and what the traffic would look like oh wait we do it's called YouTube yes <laughs> uh, they all just pop it off shit exactly that's how we got um, right we got to oh crap we got to get down to 10 miles an hour in 200 feet. That's not gonna work. Nope. That's not gonna work. We're over speeding. Good. <laughs> uh, as is usual, when we over speed,
It's all your fault, Simon. Seriously? Seriously. Not. It, it is recognised by everybody that if anything goes wrong, it's your fault. So, ergo, you may suck on that. Yeah, I'd like to have that opinion of it's all my fault and shove it <laughs> when the sun doesn't shine. <laughs> uh, I, I would tell you to uh, shove it where the sun doesn't shine, but YouTube may censor us and demonetize this video. Oh, dear me. What, what makes me laugh with uh, that system that they've got in place, right? This is what makes me really, really laugh with that system. When there's blatantly no swearing in it, and then they say, no, you can't have it monetized, and then you request a review. Oh, yeah, we can monetize it for you. Dummies! Yeah. yeah. Dummies! I mean, Jesus Christ. That's why robots shouldn't deal with YouTube, folks. It should be left to a human... Although, technically, it's YouTube. Is there anything human about YouTube? Why, do you expect a human to sit here and watch an hour-long video? Yes. Why, do they get paid for it? They get paid for it, exactly. They get paid for watching YouTube. They get paid that. Wouldn't that just be a great job to have? You get paid to watch YouTube? That would be good, actually. That'd be cool. Even though some of the videos will bore you to death. You'd be like, uh, what video would you, what uh, section would you like to watch? Well, I'd like to watch um, gaming videos. I'd like to watch uh, gaming videos. I'd like to watch uh, railway videos, please. And vlogs as well. Okay, here you go. Watch them all day. Thank you very much. Just let us know if there's anything. Just let us know if there's anything wrong. And then here comes one of your videos. Oh, look, it's Simon's video. Demonetized! <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, what's the reason for the explanation? F U E N. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'd like to request a human review my decision, please. And, and then there should I... be another box saying, <laughs> request not Ian. <laughs> Yeah, because you know what I would do? I'd monetize Tico. I'd, I mean, just like he's not on a thousand yet, monetize him. Oh. Tico, go earn some YouTube money, mate. In this picture is me with a load of cash in my hands. Thank you, Ian. <laughs> oh, dear me. Anyway, right, get, get out of the way. Get, get, what are you doing? Get out of the way. I want to get to my train. Get, get out of the way. Move it. Oh, give me that fire extinguisher. I'm going to get that fire extinguisher and I'm going to use it on someone in a second. What was that guy doing near the edge of, edge of the platform? I haven't a clue, but why are they going this way? Unless they're going up uh, going up there. Right, let's get in here. Here we go. Wait, do not block the door. Well, if it's full and standing, you're going to block the door, aren't you? It reminds you of a tiny weird metro car. It does, doesn't it? Except the new ones won't have that option. It'd be a full cab at the end. It'd be a full cab? Yeah. So basically, sitting at the front of the train will be long gone. Yeah, that that would be um, a thing, unfortunately, wouldn't it? But like I said, I don't mind, because uh, those um, Metro cars, they've had their, uh, they've had the time. It, it's one of those that badly need an upgrade, yeah. unfortunately. They're from the 70s. They're from the 70s, right. No, 80s. Exactly. What's this woman doing yeah. coming up here? What are you doing coming up here, lady? What are you all coming up here for? Don't look at me. I saw you looking at me. Yeah, 1980s actually, sorry, not 70s. 19, uh, 1970s? No, 1980s. Oh, 80s, sorry, okay. Yeah, I saw her looking at me. What <clears> was she looking at? But you could say that the Bakerloo line seriously needs an upgrade. Yeah, Bakerloo, definitely. In fact, so, what, that is the oldest tube, isn't it, the Bakerloo? Yeah, 50 years old trains. Uh, we just got a problem here. This unit won't move. Followed by the Piccadilly line, which I think this year is their birthday. Yeah, someone stop right here. The unit won't move. Oh. Uh, why won't this unit move? Brakes are charged. Oh, did we not lock the doors? You didn't lock the doors. You didn't see that. All right. <coughs> <laughs> right, oh, that go. platform looks longer. Yeah, that platform looks uh, a lot longer, doesn't it?
But I, I've got a feeling that Yankees, um, 153rd Yankee Street would probably be one of those you couldn't do. Well, you could do, but only on a certain day. Yeah. I.e. when the Yankees are playing at home. And you don't want to be there. No, that they'd be walk. Up, they'd probably walk up. What are you guys doing? And then I see my Yankees hat. Ah, fellow Yankee, how are you doing? How are we gonna do the game today? Well, we're gonna do. We're gonna do great in the game. Who's he support? He supports Boston. <laughs> I get you killed on the new Yankee Stadium. <laughs> That'll be all the. Uh, all, well, no. all the revenge for all the times you offended Boston. I'd just turn around and tell them, you're, you're, for, you're a Boston Red Sox fan. You will get the crap kicked out to you on Yankees stage. Yeah, so I just said, uh, just don't support baseball. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good, uh, and they'd be like, who's your football team? <laughs> you no, dare, you like, dare you... say the New York, New Jersey Patriots on there, and you, you wouldn't make it out of Yankees alive. That's it. <laughs> No, you'd say uh, Dallas Cowboys, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. And then you'd definitely die <laughs> after that. Who do you support? I support New Orleans Saints. You get a pass. He supports the Cowboys. He dies. <laughs> but you'd be like, not before I go to heaven. <laughs> oh, dear. We, we, I, know, uh, I know YouTube of... Uh, Mocked our, uh, not mocked our fun. What's the word I'm looking for? Censored our fun recently. We try to make it as fun as we yeah. uh, possibly can, but uh, YouTube sometimes likes to uh, act like uh, a bit of a you know what, don't they? Yeah. So uh, we got to find ways to amuse ourselves uh, better, haven't we? <laughs> yes, I would say that. Look at it. We're 50 minutes into this already. How? It feels like we only started about 10 seconds ago. Take we'll go back to Grand Central. Yeah, we're going to go back to Grand Central because um, Highbridge is um, still not taking... No, I want my uh, drink over there. I'd like my drink, please. Thank you very much. And thank you very much. I thank you very much. I thank you very much. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so the yard's still cr crowded by the cheerleaders. <sighs> You're damn right to this. My cheerleaders. <laughs> right then. Oh, I, I tell you one thing. That's one thing I do like about um, Trains in World Three, the fact that they've got these transitions with the um, time yeah. now, almost spot on. I would, uh, I would say it's almost uh, spot on. You still get the odd jo jolt and jitter every uh, now and then, but uh, it's nothing untoward. What's next week's scenario? Uh, I was about to ask what next week's scenario is, but uh, next week we have two. Two? We have two next week. Um, we have one on Friday and we have one on Sunday. Oh my God, they let us out on Trades in World on a Friday. I know everybody start getting worried right about now. It's got to be a two-hour scenario. No, um, it's just because um, there was only one F1 manager next week. That was it. So, uh, I'm putting the F1 manager on the Thursday, the pre-season episode. Yeah. Then, uh, it'll be the Central Spice on Friday. Then it will be, uh, a Gran Turismo video. Gran Turismo 7 video. I'm going to release one every week. Get a bit hyped up for the, uh, the championship that I'm going to be live streaming on, uh, on Saturdays. Yeah. Uh, what else? And then it's a uh, horseshoe curve on Sunday. Because then after Sunday, we have a surprise for you. Oh, yes. Sun I think it's Monday. Hold on. Uh, it's going to be Monday the 26th of March, I think, if I've got these dates right. Yes, Monday the 26th of March. We have a surprise for you all. It's only going to be running for three weeks. It's going to be six days a week. But we have a nice surprise for you all. Just give F1 Manager a break, because I think F1 Manager is going to take over six days a week. Or it may just take it over five days a week and uh, have Saturdays free. I haven't uh, quite decided yet. Yeah, I haven't decided. I haven't decided. 
I think actually that would probably be the best actually to have Saturdays free. Because then Saturdays I could just upload, either not upload or just concentrate on the uh, live stream. Yeah, that would be better actually. That would probably be, uh, be better, wouldn't it? Yeah, because you're going to do a live stream video, you just want, don't want to clutter it with another video. Yeah, that would probably be uh, probably be a good idea, wouldn't it? So yeah, set this up for live streaming. Uh, the PS5 is set up for live streaming, yes. I've just got to set up... You know how you set up future live streams? On the, your phone? Yeah. I've just got to do that. I, I, I am not versed in setting up future live streams. Unfortunately. Sorry. So, uh, yeah, I need to uh, sort that out. And then I'll be there with the comments <coughs> while you... Yeah. I'll still have my laptop open, so I can still interact with people, but you'll be there moderating, as uh, they say. Because I can't moderate myself and drive at the same time. So I'll be on your laptop. You can be on my laptop if you want. Yeah, abso absolutely. I, I have no... Uh, we could even have this set up if you wanted. We could have this setup we've got right here. So you've got the laptop in front of you. Yeah. I can still see the laptop. I'm still talking into the microphone. I'm still driving at the same time. I just got to remember when it all goes wrong to um, not swear because I'm alive. Yeah. <laughs> uh, only a couple of hours. You are sorry? Only a couple of hours. It'll only be a couple of hours, yeah. Uh, that reminds me, please, uh, as soon as we finish this and we've got the clips off there onto there please remind me to put F122 back on there because it is the finale today i got to get Brazil ready we've just decided this as a wholesome we've all had enough of F122 it was rubbish, it was horrible, we didn't want to play it anymore we're going to do one race Brazil, double points three people can win the championship still get on with it, let's go that's the problem with certain I want that that's the problem with certain games. You, like, especially how you do multiple seasons, it just gets. It was. It wasn't that. F one twenty two in general just was not fun to play. Was not fun to play. Yeah. You probably couldn't have told it from uh, the way I was uh, doing the races, but it was not fun to play. Let me assure you. From the word go, it was not fun to play. Even even when you got Arava and you got Ben and you got Tom all saying it's not fun to play, then you and they're the three of the big YouTubers that play the F1 games, you know you've got problems. Massive problems. Massive problems. But yet Arava still plays F122. Go figure. <laughs> Just for the content. Just for the content, exactly. I would uh, say that as well. All right, and we're about 7,000 feet from Grand Central. Are we going to be going around the corner again, or are we going to be uh, going straight in? Going straight in would be nice. It would be uh, very helpful, I would uh, say. Oh, oh, before we get the clips off, we've got to get the uh, coming up parts as well. Oh, yes. I'm trying, I know which one there uh, for this one it is going to be now. What's going to be the cheerleaders at the yard? But then uh, <laughs> someone else came in and took over. It's not the Yankees, is it? No, 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 no. Uh, and then I think we know what we're talking about, what the coming up part is for the uh, West Cornwall, isn't it? The castles. Castles up, uh, yeah. up Dayton and Bank. That, that does have to happen, though. Please, please uh, be assured that that does have to happen, doesn't it? It does. Because if it doesn't happen, Simon is a very sad person. You you can't see his face right now, but if I turned around and said, no Great Western Castles update and bang, he would look very sad. I only had to turn my head to the left, and he's looking very sad now. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that didn't look like you were sad. That looked like you were constipated. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Seriously, he stood there looking like, uh, oh yeah, let's speed this up a bit. So you are going round the back? Uh, I don't know. Are we going round the back? No, because there was a turn off, so we must be going straight in. It's just at 10 miles an hour. This, Yeah, we're going straight in. Yeah, just to uh, make it under the hour. Just to make it under the hour. Because Chef Factory still doesn't have that capability of making the videos longer. No. Well, no, you can make them longer. You just can't. 
do it on chair factory. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, it's useless like that. So here we are in the to Grand Central, and I would imagine that's going to be the end of it then. Let's just uh, slow it up. There we go. And thank you. Bingo. Is that it? Yeah. Well, that was it. That was very anticlimactic. Is that even a word, anticlimactic? There you are. One hour, 11 minutes, that scenario what it took. So you just chopped it down a little bit. So I just chopped it down by uh, 12 minutes, which I think everyone will uh, greatly appreciate. So yeah, Friday we're back, folks. We're going to do uh, the S-Bahn Central Spice. And then next Sunday is the Horseshoe Curve. So uh, I think we should record them on uh, Wednesday. Yeah. Because one's uh, 40 minutes, the other's 50. That's easy work there. Start half nine, we're done. Yeah, I would say so. Absolutely. Do you want the last word before we uh, we uh, finish up? And you go back to those cheerleaders. Oh, okay.